welcome back to my channel my name is F if you have forgotten and apparently I have a new video um, featuring this look that I have in here I actually enjoyed um, while I was doing this look I have here like a Pantone color of the year living coral inspired makeup look um, I actually am digging the color apparently it shows on my shirt as well and on my nails but generally i really like the color well without further ado i don't want to keep you waiting if you want to copy this look over here i have a little bit of purple on my center lid because i exactly like uh i was inspired by this photo right here i saw it from the or i saw it on the pantone instagram and i really wanted to have a multi-dimensional look not only like a monochromatic coral or living coral look so um, it's so nice that I actually found that photo which inspired me to do this um, eye makeup over here so I actually went ham on my blush because my blush is also coral colored and uh, well I really enjoy doing this look and I hope you do too please um, subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up Comment down anything that you wanted me to know um, down below and also I will be giving you what or I will be listing down the things that I have used um, on the description box. So again, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, have a great new year. Um, I have this thing over here. <laughs> um, I love you all and may you have a fruitful new year um, this year. So um, I'd like to say bye now and again my name is X. Remember that I love you all. Mwah. Okay, so starting off with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I have already primed my eyelids and to set I will be using that bone um, shade from my EB Advance Pro Play palette which is really really good and uh, yeah. After that, I will be using this single shadow from ColourPop in Flower Boy as my transition shade. And I'll just be packing the color into my crease area using windshield wiper motions like so. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, I have a terrible cough and flu today. To darken or to further darken my crease area, I will be using another orangey, corally single shadow that's from Sus or Suesh. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a local brand. And yeah, I'm just <clears throat> doing the same windshield wiper motions. And just to, of course, further blend them together. I will be using another single shadow from Suwesh that's like um, a lighter orange in there. And yeah, I, I actually love how it turned out. Really orangey and corally. And I will be doing a semi cut tree, so I will be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I am just doing it with a mini or that small flat brush in there that I saw here among my brushes and yeah I'm just packing the uh, concealer on the areas where I wanted to cut the trees so if you know me I have um, terribly hooded lids so I actually put the trees further above just so we could see what shadow we put at the center of our lid. And yeah, for the star of the show, I will be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Marvina palette. Uh, specifically the shade Celestial. And I will just be using my finger to pack it on the center of my lid where I put the cut trees if you know what I mean so I really love the color or this color it's kind of similar to you know the Pantone photo that I showed you earlier 
And yeah, going back to our EB Pro Play eyeshadow palette using that dark brown shade over there, I will just be like deepening the outer corner of my lids like so just to add more depth and dimension to the look so I did not really um, allow the dark brown color to go up on the crease just there at the outer corner and yeah my favorite part is curling my lashes mm -hmm, like so and of course putting mascara so for mascara today, I will be using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. That's a cult favorite. I actually used too many layers of it in order for me to achieve the volume that I want to achieve for my lashes for this look. So moving on to the face, I will be cleaning up the um, my under eye area using my beauty bakery witch hazel mist that's a favorite so this time I actually used a cotton pad and a uh, facial tissue to do that since I already have mascara on for primer I will be using the the ordinary high adherence silicone primer also one of my favorites also listed on my 2018 makeup favorites video which I will be linking down below and yeah I'm just spreading it and of course for foundation I will be using the partner foundation to my primer which is the uh, serum foundation I'm in the shade 2.0 N and I'm just blending it on my face using my eco tools sponge that's kind of damp and uh, yeah, make sure that you blend your foundation on your neck or else you're gonna be looking terrible. And yeah, for concealer today, I will be using my No Filter Concealer from Colourpop. Again, it's also one of my favorites. And I'm just concealing all the usual spots where I conceal. Yeah, I'm so happy like that. Never. I use this concealer and of course I'm just blending it into my skin using my damp sponge and um, like so actually since I have like that spot over there it's my unicorn horn I'm using a darker shade of the concealer I believe that's the shade beige just to cover it up more and not to highlight it we're just covering it up and I'm just blending it in using a fluffy or a dense brush. To set my concealer or to set my base, I'm using my Maybelline Clear Smooth Powder Foundation. Uh, uh, it's not actually a powder foundation, but it's only a powder. It's really cheap and I love it. Also listed as one of my holy grails over the past year. And I'm just using a dense brush to pack the powder on my skin. For contour today, I will be using the darkest shade from my e.l.f. contouring palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like so. I love how it produces the shadows that I wanted to achieve on my face, especially on my forehead. And I'm just, you know, cutting my jaw so well so that hindi tayo magbukhang walang lieg. And I'm just really contouring that part on my chin because that's like my favorite thing to do whenever I contour. To blend my contouring powder, I will be using this bronzer. It's actually a cheek color from Pink Sugar. It's a local brand. And yeah, I'm just using my bronzer brush to blend everything in so that our face is really, really snatched for this look. So 
for my nose again i will go back to the darkest shade from my elf contouring palette to contour it and i'm just using my um trusty angled eyeshadow brush and i'm just you know focusing on the tip of my eyebrow and uh, yeah on uh, that area there on the tip of my nose Mm -hmm. So I'm just properly blending everything in and also I'm just using a finger to really pack everything and blend everything into my nose. Mm -hmm. So for our under eye area, let's finish our eyeshadow by putting in like this gold pencil. It's from Nichido. If I'm not mistaken, yes, it's a gift from my sister. And going back to that really orangey, corally uh, single shadow, I will be packing it into my under eye area close to the lash line using that flat brush that I actually used to cut my crease earlier. So, yeah. And to further blend our under eye area, I will be going back to that ColourPop single shadow in Flower Boy and just using a um, fluffier brush. I'm just blending it in and I'm making sure that they stick together. Like, I don't know what I'm actually talking about. So I'm just putting in my lower lash mascara because I really am fond of putting lower lash mascara mm -hmm. and to go back on our EB Pro Play eyeshadow palette using that pretty highlighting shade over there I'm actually using it to highlight my tear ducts or my inner corners and wow that's popping and I also used it to highlight my brow bone I actually had fun doing that as you could see and for blush today I am using my 95 peso Caroline blush in the shade fresh tomato I really love this I cannot not have this in my kit I bring this to me everywhere and uh, I'm just bring it bring it bringing it up to my nose <laughs> For highlighter today, I will be using my EB Advanced Glowout Highlighter in Strobe. It's really pretty. It's one of my favorites as well. Just look at that glow that it gives me. Ah, oh, perfect. It's actually really perfect for my skin tone. That's why I really love using this. Mm, yeah, let's get have with highlighter. And for lippy. I actually decided on this shade. It's like a cool tone nude shade over there. I have another one in milkshake, which is more corally. But just to tone down the eye look, I actually opted for this one instead. So it's really actually perfect in my opinion. Yeah, that's the Sunny Space Fluff Matte in the shade nudist and yeah aura aura na yan mga besties so yeah besties squad don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my socials listed down below and yeah this is the final look i hope that you like it again i love you all and happy new year mm -hmm.